data from the National Maradona Program suggests that if you are looking for a matched donor, meaning matched at HLA, ABC, and DR beta 1, if you're a Caucasian, you have about a 50% chance of finding such a donor. It gets considerably lower as you go through the various ethnic races, and it's lowest for African Americans at 17%. So that led to the emergence of the use of cord blood grafts as an alternative for hematopoietic stem cell transplantation in both adults and children. Currently, cord blood transplants account for about 5% of allogeneic transplants in adults. So our goal was to determine the relative efficacy of the three graft sources, marrow, bone marrow, and purple blood, the two common graft sources used in adults, and umbilical cord blood used by some, but not all. So we selected the patient population based on how they will be selected by transplant physicians treating patients with acute leukemia, meaning acute myeloid leukemia and acute lymphocytic leukemia. Um, all the marrow and peripheral blood donors were matched or mismatched at one locus. And all the cord blood units um, over 90% of them were mismatched. That's just how it is. And we made sure that all of the units, the cord blood units that were used for transplantation contained a minimum cell dose, which is the cell dose required to get the graft in so that the graft can grow in the marrow. Um, as one would expect, what we found was mutual recovery, which is um, the blood cells trying to grow back, was significantly lower after cord blood. Um, that's been reported by others before, and our observations just confirm what others have said. Transplant-related mortality, which is an indicator of death from transplant-related complications, was lowest if the patient received matched bone marrow or peripheral blood. It was higher if you received a cord blood graft or a mismatched marrow or peripheral blood. Chronic graft versus host disease, which is perhaps the single most important determinant of late mortality, meaning once the patient is cured of their leukemia, what are the factors that can lead to their demise? And chronic graft versus host disease would top the list. Chronic GVHD was significantly lower if you got a cord blood transplant. Um, and it was higher if you got a matched or a mismatched bone marrow or purple blood. So when you look at overall survival, which is perhaps the most important thing if you're a patient with leukemia undergoing transplantation, there was a slight advantage to receiving a matched marrow or purple blood. However, if you didn't have such a donor, it really didn't matter whether you got one locus mismatched bone marrow or purple blood or a mismatched cord blood unit. Um, so to summarize this, your first choice would be an age of age allele matched unrelated donor donating either bone marrow or peripheral blood. But it takes about two to two and a half months to work with a volunteer unrelated donor. If you have a patient that does not have such a donor or needs transplant urgently, then cord blood is a suitable option because there is a pretty good chance that you can salvage that patient by treating him or her with an local cord transplant. Thank you.